So three and a quarter mile chase next in. This is Gold Cup distance, of course, and it's raining. And it's a 500 upwards. And we're never Dragoon. Alex Cherry's a top one. Ra Deer, D. Hooley, Hollywood National, Derek Hinton, Placebo Park, and Plague Runner for Craig Adder. So now he's snuck to it. Silverado, Joshua Southern, G.I. Joe, Leon Van Rensburg, Panzer Martin, Needham, Steeplejack Lad, Graham Clutterbuck, Sherlock Holmes, Ryan Tamasibi, Emiros, Darren Thompson, Glad All Over, David Robertson, Large Esteem, Jim Murray, Hobson's Choice, Kevin Minahan, Florence Nightingale, Paul Rose, and Chapter Blend, Ryan Costello. So the rain's coming down. They're off and racing. And for those of you who weren't around last season, well, I can see them over the first fence first, and they're all safely over it. For those of you who weren't around last season, G.I. Joe is the current Gold Cup winner. I was pretty un pretty much unbeatable when it stood up last season, so it'll be very interesting to see how that one fares against some of the new ones from the bigger stables, the Joshua Sutherlands and the Craig Allens and the Paul Roads and Coes. And let's see what happens then as they race down towards the second of the 19 fences in Whenever Dragoon. He's just about in the lead from Radier and Large Esteem. And a gap of a couple of lengths then back to Emiros and Florence Nightingale. Darren Thompson also has some good jumpers. It'll be interesting for him to see how that one goes against G.I. Joe. Give people an idea of how they might have improved, I would think. Probably won't do a lot of good if G.I. Joe falls. But, uh, let's hope it doesn't. And we'll get over that one then. And Hollywood National just about the back marker as they make their way through the rain. And whenever Dragoon, Larger Steam and Radia are disputing the lead, awful long way to go though as they come to this ditch. And over that one they go, one or two untidy, and one gone, glad all over is gone. So David Robertson's not going to get much of an idea how much he's improved. With glad all over fell all over at the moment then, and out of the race. So Radia in front, going down to this fourth. And as they get over that one, and then all over that one, okay. Silverado a little bit slow at the back. And it's whenever Dragoon, pretty sure that was in the races last season. I think it might have been in Trials Day 1 as well. So Radia is second, largest team third, then Florence Nightingale is back in fourth as they take the fifth. And right down on its nose there was the purple jacketed chapter blend. But whenever Dragoon, largest team and Radia are still well clear of the remainder, are headed now by Florence Nightingale just in front of Emiros as they take the sixth. And over that one they all go Silverado just about landed at the back. Hollywood National and Sherlock Holmes also towards the rear. As they make their way towards the next end down this big long home straight. And they skip over number seven. And they're all safely over that one. This time just the one departed the race so far then. And they've got a little more than two miles still to go. Which on this big... Doncaster track is only one more circuit as they get over that fence it'll be the last on the next circuit past the temporary or not a temporary stand it's a open top stand and larger steam just about in front from whenever Dragoon in second and Radia in third then a gap back to Florence Nightingale four and Emeros is five then Hobson's Choice is six and Panzer is seven and then Placebo Park and Plague Runner and then Steeple Jack Ladd and Chapter Blend G.I. Joe sitting quietly in the centre of the pack then Hollywood Nationals Sherlock Holmes and finally Silverado as they all get over the water across that little pathway and they're going to start jockeying for position now as they race towards the final mile and a half they get over this plain fence and over that one they go on the stake there by Panzer on the inside but it's whenever Dragoon who's still in front by Nick to larger steam second Radir has dropped back a little bit in third and now being joined by Florence Nightingale gap of two or three then back to Hobson's Choice and then Placebo Park Imaros and Panzer then Steeplejack Lad Plague Runners after that one then Chapter Blend and G.I. Joe as they get over that ditch which they all so, so safely get over Silverado still at the back at larger steam and whenever Dragoon with Radia back in third, then Florence Nightingale is fourth. Hobson's choices after that one, then Placebo Park and Imaros, Plague Runner and G.I. Joe Steeple, Jack Ladd after that one, as they take that play one, and whenever Dragoon jumped it best again, the rest of them got over it okay, apart from Panzer. Panzer's out of the race now, so Panzer's gone. The second one to depart, and whenever Dragoon is in the lead, from larger steam in second, gap back to Radia in third, then Florence Nightingale's after that one, then comes Placebo Park, Hobson's choice, and Imaros, G.I. Joe creeping a little bit closer. But it's whenever Dragoon and Larger Steam who dispute the lead. 
We're about two and a half lengths clear of Rod here in third. He's got a length on Florence Nightingale. He's got a couple on Hobson's Choice. He's got a couple more on Placebo Park and Imaros. And then Plague Runner, G.I. Joe, creeping closer. Steeple Jack Ladd and Sherlock Holmes as they get over the 13th. So they're all over. And Chapter Blend has now dropped to the back whenever Dragoon being pushed along a little bit now. Larger steam takes it up. Larger steam on the outside as they come towards this ditch. And over that, a good fast jump by the leader there. Got away from it well as well. And it's larger steam in the lead then from Radir in second. Whenever Dragoon is now dropped back into third, might have hit the wall that one. Then comes Hobson's Choice and Florence Nightingale, Imaros and Plague Runner and Placebo Park. G.I. Joe tucked in behind them as they take the 15th. And oh, there's a four and there's a crashing fall for Florence Nightingale. And Florence Nightingale's out of the race. Larger steam. He's in the lead. Radir is second. Here comes Imaros now. Throwing down a big challenge and cruising around the outside is G.I. Joe. But it's now Imaros who's come through to take it up. Imaros in the lead. Imaros has taken it up as they come down to the 16th. Imaros gets over it nicely. Over it in second. Largest thing. Then Radir. Placebo Park. G.I. Joe is next. Then Sherlock Holmes is on the case. But it's Imaros in front. Imaros is in the lead. G.I. Joe now coming to challenge. Placebo Park is still there as well. Also fighting back his largest thing. Largest thing. What a landed him a lead now. G.I. G.I. Joe begins to take it up. G.I. Joe's gone into the lead from Placebo Park and Larger Steam. They've only got two more fences to take. And it's G.I. Joe by about three quarters of a length. G.I. Joe racing towards the second last fence. Skips over it nicely. Larger Steam is challenging again in second. Placebo Park looks beaten. But G.I. Joe looks to be going nicely. He's only got to jump the final fence to take it, I think. It's G.I. Joe in the lead. But look at this coming from the back now. Plague Runner is eating up the ground. It's G.I. Joe in the lead. G.I. Joe lands in the lead from Plague Runner. G.I. Joe is still three lengths clear and G.I. Joe is going to race up towards the line season one, season two what does it matter, G.I. Joe is still going to be the winner up towards the line, G.I. Joe wins it from Plague Runner in second, Placebo Park was third then larger Stephen Ryan here and Sherlock Holmes um, quite a few dropped out in the straight Imaros and Chapter Blend and G.I. Joe maybe not quite as comfortably as last season but still wins it and a good length or so. Plague Runner was making up some good ground at the end. It'll be interesting over another furlong or so. But G.I. Joe takes it for Leon Van Rensburg. And Craig Allen sneaks second and third there with Placebo Park and Plague Runner. Managed to sneak two in. Largest team for Jim Murray was fourth. And Radia for D. Hooley, who's had a really good day today, was fifth.